Today I want to give you something extraordinary, a gym that can transform your very existence. We're talking about the force behind every monumental achievement you've ever witnessed. This potent force, my friends, is belief, but not just any belief, a belief so deep, so powerful, that it becomes the bedrock of your very being propelling you towards greatness like a rocket to the stars. Imagine harnessing this force, this unstoppable energy. Picture yourself not just walking, but sprinting towards your dreams with the confidence of a champion. You see, champions are not born. They're made forged in the fire of their unyielding belief. Let's breathe life into this concept with a story that sings of belief. Think of Thomas Edison, a man who faced failure not 10, not 100, but a thousand times. Yet his belief in his vision of the electric light bulb was unshakable. Each failure was not a setback, but a step forward because his belief was the light guiding him through the darkness of trial and error. Now, how can you ignite this kind of unassailable belief in yourself? Start by speaking life into your dreams. Every morning, let your first act be to declare your faith in your future. I am unstoppable. I am a champion. Today, I conquer my fears and step closer to my dream. This isn't mere words. This is your battle cry, your anthem of victory. Belief crystallizes when it's clear and focused. Sharpen it by setting goals so vivid, so detailed, that you can taste, touch, and live them in your mind. These goals are your stepping stones across the river of doubt, leading you to the shores of success. But remember, belief is tested. When adversity knocks, and it will, meet it with the shield of your past triumphs. Every challenge you've overcome is proof of your power, a testament to your indomitable spirit. And don't walk this path alone. Align with souls who echo your passion, your vision. Together, you will build a fortress of belief so robust that no force on earth can breach its walls. So I challenge you, what is the dream that sets your soul on fire? Visualize it, believe in it, and let that belief fuel every action, every decision. Your belief is a titan, a colossus capable of conquering any obstacle, achieving any dream. In the tapestry of success, if belief is the thread, then discipline is the loom. It's discipline that weaves the vibrant colors of dreams into the fabric of reality. Consider the lives of the greats from the stoic endurance of marathon runners to the strategic minds of industry leaders. Their secret, a discipline as unyielding as steel. Take the example of an Olympic swimmer, rising before dawn, slicing through the water lap after relentless lap while the world sleeps. Or think of a visionary CEO meticulously planning each day to maximize productivity, turning visions into empire-building strategies. Their success isn't a product of chance. It's the result of disciplined action repeated every single day. Now, how do we cultivate this formidable discipline? It starts with the mastery of your daily agenda. Time management isn't just organizing your day, but aligning it with your life's mission. Every task, every activity should be a step towards your ultimate goal. Ask yourself, is what I'm doing today bringing me closer to where I want to be tomorrow? But discipline is more than managing time. It's about prioritizing your life. You must learn to distinguish between what is urgent and what is important. The urgent screams for your attention, but the important whispers of your future. Learn to listen to that whisper. Make your priorities a sacred part of your day, non-negotiable and guarded fiercely against the onslaught of distractions. And speaking of distractions, in this world brimming with noises, from the ping of a new email to the allure of social media, how do you keep focused? The key is to create an environment that nurtures concentration. Maybe it's a quiet room, or perhaps it's simply turning off your phone during your hours of deep work. Remember, every minute lost to distraction is a minute stolen from your future. Let's delve deeper. Think about the disciplined life of an author who commits to writing a thousand words a day, rain or shine. This isn't just about filling pages. It's about committing to a process, trusting that the sum of these days will result in a masterpiece. Now, look at your own life. What is your thousand words? 
What daily commitment can you make that will compound into your masterpiece? Discipline, my friends, is also about saying no. No to the unnecessary, so you can say yes to the essential. It's about making choices that might not feel good in the moment, but will lead to greatness in the long run. Like a sculptor chipping away at marble, discipline helps chip away the excess, revealing the masterpiece within you. Let's talk about a concept that's been misunderstood for ages. Failure. We've been taught to fear failure, to dodge it, to avoid its sting. But what if I told you that failure is one of the greatest teachers you'll ever meet? Yes, failure. Not as the opposite of success, but as a stepping stone to it. Just consider the story of Thomas Edison. He didn't just fail once or twice. He failed a thousand times before inventing the light bulb. But did he see it as failure? No, he saw it as discovering a thousand ways that didn't work, which brought him closer to the one way that did. Edison embraced failure as a teacher, guiding him to eventual triumph. Now, how do we transform failure from a feared enemy to a valued mentor? It starts with reframing our perspective. When faced with failure, instead of asking, why me? We should ask, what can I learn? This shift in questioning opens the door to growth and wisdom. One practical strategy for learning from failure is maintaining a journal of lessons learned. Each time a project or task doesn't go as planned, don't just move on in haste. Pause and reflect. Write down what happened, why it happened, and how it can be done differently. This journal becomes a roadmap of personal growth, turning every setback into a setup for future success. Another key strategy is seeking feedback. Often, our vision is limited to our perspective. By asking for feedback, we open ourselves to insights that can reshape our approach and strategy. But remember, feedback is not just about hearing what went wrong. It's about understanding how things can be improved. It's a constructive conversation, not a critical condemnation. Now let's consider setting new action plans. Failure often shows us that our plan A wasn't the right route. So what do we do? We plot a course for plan B, plan C, or even plan D. Each new plan crafted from the lessons of past failures paves a more informed and potentially successful path forward. But let's dig deeper. Failure is not just about personal or immediate setbacks. It's a universal experience, a shared chapter in humanity's story of progress. Every invention, every discovery, every leap in technology or art has a backstory filled with failures. These aren't just tales of caution. They're narratives of courage, resilience, and unrelenting pursuit. In embracing failure, we also embrace vulnerability. It's okay to say, I failed. There's strength in vulnerability because it's the birthplace of genuine learning and growth. It's where the armor cracks open to reveal not weakness, but potential for stronger resolve and understanding. In this journey of embracing failure as a teacher, remember you're not alone. Every person who has ever achieved anything of significance has walked this path. They've stumbled, they've fallen, but more importantly, they rose again, armed with the wisdom of their experiences. So I ask you, what failures are you carrying as burdens that could instead be transformed into lessons? How can your past setbacks fuel your future achievements? Let's not just endure failure. Let's study it, learn from it, and use it to forge a path of wisdom, resilience, and ultimate success. Resilience, the very backbone of human spirit, is what makes the difference between those who stand strong in the storm and those who are swept away. Think of Nelson Mandela, imprisoned for 27 years, yet emerging not with bitterness, but with a vision of peace and reconciliation for his country. His resilience turned his years of captivity into a journey of inner strength and purpose. How do we forge such resilience? It starts within nurturing our mental and emotional fortitude. Mindfulness, the practice of being present in the moment, helps us navigate life's turbulence without losing our center. Stress management techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or simply taking a walk in nature can reset our inner balance.
But let's not forget the power of a positive support network, surrounding ourselves with individuals who uplift, support, and understand us can amplify our resilience. These are the people who remind us of our strength when we forget, who stand with us in the trenches of our battles. So how resilient do you feel today? Are you ready to face life's challenges with a heart of courage and a spirit unbroken? Remember, resilience is not a gift to the few. It's a choice, a commitment, a way of life for the true champion within each of us. In the panorama of life, the true champion stands out, not just for the victories achieved, but for the unquenchable thirst for learning and growth. The hallmark of a true champion is the recognition that the quest for knowledge never ends, that the finish line of one race is the starting line of another. Think about the luminaries who've graced the world stage, individuals like Leonardo da Vinci, a man whose curiosity knew no bounds, who delved into art, science, anatomy, and engineering, constantly learning, evolving, growing. His life was a testament to the belief that learning is the wellspring of creativity and innovation. So how do we, in our daily lives, embody this principle of continual learning and growth? It begins with the simple yet profound act of reading. Books are the portals to different worlds, offering perspectives and knowledge that can transform our understanding and our lives. Make reading a daily habit, even if it's just a few pages a day. Each word read, each idea absorbed, is a step on the ladder of personal and professional growth. But learning is not just an individual pursuit. It's a collective journey. Seek out mentors and coaches, individuals who've traversed the path you're on, who can offer guidance, wisdom, and insight. A mentor doesn't just impart knowledge. They help shape your thinking, challenge your assumptions, and encourage you to reach beyond your perceived limitations. And let's not forget the power of curiosity, the very engine of lifelong learning. Stay curious about the world around you, about people, about nature, about technology, about everything. Curiosity leads to exploration, exploration leads to discovery, and discovery leads to growth. Ask questions, seek answers, and never be satisfied with the status quo. Now consider the role of new experiences in fostering learning and growth. Step out of your comfort zone, try new activities, travel to new places, meet different people. Each new experience broadens your horizon, adds depth to your character, and contributes to your story of growth. In this journey of continuous learning, remember, it's not about accumulating information, but about transforming it into wisdom. It's about applying what you learn in ways that enhance your life and the lives of those around you. It's about turning knowledge into action, ideas into realities. So I challenge you, what will you learn today that will make you better tomorrow? How will you grow from the experiences that life presents to you? Let your life be a masterpiece of continual learning and growth, a canvas that you paint with the colors of your experiences, your discoveries, and your journeys. Let's unfold this tapestry of learning and growth, stitch by stitch, in the style of a craftsman who sees beyond the immediate. I want to weave a narrative that speaks of lifelong learning, not as a task, but as a thrilling expedition into the unknown depths of your potential. Imagine yourself as a gardener of your mind where knowledge is the seed and wisdom is the bloom. Just as a gardener tends to his plants daily, you must nurture your mind with the rich soil of new experiences, the water of curiosity and the sunlight of reflection. This is how growth becomes more than an action. It becomes a way of living. Consider the story of a businessman, once a struggling entrepreneur, who viewed each setback not as a defeat, but as a lesson he became a titan of history, not because he never failed, but because he never ceased to learn from each failure, turning the stones of his missteps into the milestones of his success. Now, how can you embed this continuous learning into the very fabric of your life? It begins with a simple yet profound change in routine. Dedicate time each day, even if it's just a half hour, to immerse yourself in reading, whether it's a book, an article, or even a compelling blog. Let this be your window to new worlds, new ideas, new possibilities. Engagement in learning is not a solitary journey. 
Seek mentors, those who have navigated the paths you aspire to tread. Their wisdom can illuminate your journey, turning the complex into the comprehensible, the overwhelming into the manageable. But remember, the essence of learning is not just in absorbing, but in questioning. Stay curious, relentlessly so. Ask why, ask how, and then seek the answers with the zest of a detective unraveling a mystery. This is not just about gathering information. It's about building a lattice of understanding that supports your growth. True learning is about stepping out beyond the familiar shores into the uncharted waters of life. Embrace new experiences, for each is a lesson in disguise. It could be a new role in your career, a new hobby, or a new culture on your travels. Each new experience is a thread in the rich tapestry of your growth. And let's talk about resilience in learning. The path is not always smooth. There will be hurdles, there will be setbacks, but with each challenge faced, resilience is built like a tree that stands firm against the storm. Drawing strength from its very battles with the wind, your resilience grows from every challenge met with courage and perseverance. In the grand narrative of your life, let continual learning and growth be the themes that run through every chapter. Let them be the legacy you build, not just for yourself, but as a beacon for others who follow in your footsteps. So as we journey through the vast landscape of life, let us commit to this ethos of never-ending improvement. Let us pledge to be the eternal students of life, where every day is a new lesson, every interaction a new discovery, and every challenge a new opportunity to grow. In this commitment to continual learning and growth, you are not just building a reservoir of, of knowledge, but crafting a monument to human potential, your potential. And in this journey, you, you become not just a participant in the narrative of your own life, but a champion of the enduring spirit of growth and learning. As we venture deeper into the philosophy of continuous improvement, let's explore the very essence of what it means to live as a true champion of growth. This journey is not a sprint, but a marathon, a testament to the enduring spirit that defines the seekers of wisdom and knowledge. Think of the great inventors, the scholars, and the pioneers of industry. Their lives were not defined by the ease of their journey, but by their relentless pursuit of knowledge. They understood that to truly excel, to truly break the mold and redefine the boundaries of possibility. One must be an avid learner, a perpetual student of life. Learning is an art, and like all art, it requires practice, patience, and passion. It's about seeing the world not just as it is, but as it could be through the lens of curiosity and wonder. Engage with the world around you. Ask questions. Seek to understand the why and the how behind the everyday. Incorporating learning into the fabric of your daily life can be as simple as setting aside time for reading books that challenge your thinking, attending workshops and seminars that push the boundaries of your knowledge, or even engaging in thoughtful dialogue with peers and mentors. Each of these actions serves as a brushstroke in the masterpiece of your lifelong learning. Now consider the role of adaptability in continuous learning. In a world that evolves at breakneck speed, the ability to adapt, to learn, unlearn, and relearn is invaluable. This adaptability is the hallmark of true resilience and is at the heart of continuous personal and professional development. Think of the digital revolution and the pioneers who embraced the new technologies, not as threats, but as opportunities to learn and grow. They adapted, evolving their skills and mindset to navigate the new digital landscape, leading innovations that reshaped industries and societies. But continuous learning is not just about acquiring new knowledge. It's also about deepening understanding. It involves diving deeper into your field of expertise, mastering the nuances, and refining your skills. This depth of knowledge not only enhances your expertise, but also increases your capacity to innovate and lead in your domain. Moreover, the journey of continuous learning and growth is enriched by sharing knowledge with others. Teaching is a powerful vehicle for learning. 
it not only reinforces your understanding, but also expands it as you're exposed to different perspectives and insights. In sharing your knowledge, you contribute to the collective growth of your community, creating a legacy of learning that transcends individual achievement. Today's and continuous learning also means being open to feedback. Constructive criticism is a gift offering insights into areas for improvement that you might not have seen. Welcoming feedback, analyzing it, and acting upon it is a cycle of learning that fosters growth and excellence. In this ongoing journey, the cultivation of patience is crucial. True learning takes time. It's a process of planting seeds of knowledge, watering them with effort and patience, and nurturing them until they bear the fruits of wisdom and skill. Be patient with yourself. Recognizing that growth is a gradual process and every step forward is a victory in the journey of lifelong learning. So, as we through the narrative of continuous growth, let us embrace the richness of learning in all its forms. Let's be hungry for knowledge, be open to change, adapt, and evolve. Let's dive deep into our fields of interest, share our wisdom with others, and remain receptive to the lessons that life generously offers. In doing so, we not only enhance our own lives, but also inspire those around us to embark on their own journeys of discovery and growth. We become not just champions of our own growth, but also catalysts for the advancement of others.